Good boy, just stay there. I can't see anything. You can keep looking at me beady eyes all you want. <coughs> Okie dokie, I'm back, but I'm not sure how long for, because the dog is back in. Or oh, wimping behind me. Who is there? Samuel Gordon. Please, let me in. Just one second. Thank you. May I speak with you? Sure. Listen, I need to know something. Where is James's body? Excuse me? Don't ask. Just tell me where it is. Well, all right. If you must know, we cannot get hold of Dr. Herman. I don't know what is going on. So we placed the body in the old chapel in the graveyard until he arrives. It cannot stay much longer, though. It has to go to the morgue. That's all. Thanks. Okay, we we'll know where that is. Let's go. I can go into that room he's got. Let's see if I can get in there now before. I remember there was a there was a uh, he would not let me in. He would see me. Damn. I haven't got time. What do you want? Why is the door to the boiler room locked? I had to start locking it during the day because of that runaway loon. As far as I know, he's the first one to have pulled it off. The institution has a very good reputation in this respect, and they don't want to lose it. That's the way it should be. Loons in, and none of them out. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. I want to have a look in that book. Okay. Right, to the graveyard. this gentle whine behind me for god knows how long so it's one of those ones that if you have a dog you'll know what I mean it's just a gentle noise you can just barely hear and it's oh it's one of those it's going the to channel sleep. is locked I've got my keys got my keys Out a bit, so I'm gonna go this way. James must have taken them away from Robert. James. down here. Oh, 
Let's go speak to the uh, that guy outside. He might have the keys. What are you doing here? That's none of your business. No. Yeah, you're right. What do I care? You want something? Can you tell me, why is that chapel in the graveyard locked? The old chapel? I'll tell you why. It's locked because nobody has any business going in it. Can you open it for me? No, I couldn't. Nobody is allowed to go there, like I said. But you have the key to it, right? Exactly. Okay. And it's going to stay that way. I have to get into that chapel at all costs. How could I possibly obtain the key? How about you lend me your key? I'll return it in a little while. You could watch my wallet for me in the meantime. Hmm. Well, a little extra added to that lousy salary of mine would come handy. So, what do you say? Hmm. No, it's not no. possible. I can't do it. The head nurse would really enjoy the chance to fry my backside. I can't risk somebody finding out. Too bad. I'll keep the wallet to myself then. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. Okay. Oh, we're back into the sewers. You know, I could have really done with it by the beginning, so I didn't have to dig about with all the other stuff. This is the only way to get inside the sanatorium. Sorry. I have no choice. What the hell am I doing in here? Oh, I can speak to Ralph. I don't know what we could talk about, Mr. Bobby. Why am I in this in here in the first place? What? Oh, wait, 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 there's a faucet. It could use fixing. It's leaking. It could use fix. It's leaking. Oh. Okay, there's not even much to do with water there, is there? Not I must be quiet so I won't get caught. This time, I wouldn't have any explanation. I'm lucky there's no one here. So we're about to take advantage of that before somebody comes. Oh, hang on, I think that's the boiler room, can't I? Because I can get through that door. How do I obtain the keys to that chapel? I'll have a look around here. I've got to come up with something. Yeah, but there was there was down here there was that locker on there there.
Too bad. No spare keys. Just an old pair of rubber boots. Personal stuff. I'll leave it as it is. Well, that was an absolute waste of time. Why in the hell do I want some rubber boots? The door of the boiler is very hot. I will get burnt. I don't... <sighs> Why the hell do I... Oh, wait a minute, there's a rag there. the rag on the door I should dampen it first uh, oh yeah 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 I know where on that faucet tap we call it uh, in England so, I know I've already looked on here I can't see anything you okay, let's go back out here then I have no idea why I want to do this, but there you go. That's the joy of these kind of games, you do things in the most weirdest way ever. these boots in there for some bizarre reason the smoke from the rubber would go out through the chimney next that wouldn't help oh. well, I've got to go and block the chimney up I'm assuming, I, I, I don't even know where the chimney is, is and the chimney must obviously be outside. It's a bloody chimney. The boiler man probably would not like it. Where's this bloody chimney? I'm assuming there is a chimney.
go back inside and see if there's anything I can see in the sides. Because I can't see a chimney outside. There's this, but that's a pipe. I have no idea why I'm doing this, so, to be honest, I haven't got a clue. There's the thing there, it's in this. Oh, hang on, there's a valve here. I thought that was the valve, but. Should attract some attention. Now I've got to get going. Yeah, don't run. I don't know. I'm assuming this one I'm supposed to have uh, got a clue. Maybe I went a bit too far with those boots. Hopefully none of the smoke has gotten into the building. It's quite smoky in there. One cannot breathe in there now. It's going to take a while before the boiler room is aired out completely. Yeah, so why have I done it? There must be a reason, mustn't there? Can't go back down here. Full of clean. Good to hear. There's no reason to talk. Okay, so that's out the window then. So what the chuff am I supposed to have done then? Let's go back down here. Maybe he's at the chapel. I haven't got a clue. Maybe I went a bit too f Hopefully none of the st I have no idea why I'm... But I can't get in, can I, into the chapel, because it's locked. Locked? Yeah, I know. So I don't understand why I've just done that. Oh, there's a key there. I didn't see that. Perfect. He left the keys in the lock. I'll borrow them. You mean you'll steal them? Temporarily, of course. Alright, we'll go back into the chapel again. Chapel.
James's body. I need a little hair for comparison with the sample that Herman was clasping in his hand. I don't like the music when it kicks in. I've spent too long getting this damn thing, so... I need to use something to cut off a little hair. I don't want to touch him with my hands. Wimp. A broken glass. Instead of pulling his hair out, I'm just going to hack it off him. This should do. Where could I have a close look at it? Hmm. Well, maybe just. I'll go back to the moor and use Herman's microscope. <sighs> no shit, Sherlock. It's a good thing the crime scene's been cleared up. Samples differ. Even I can see that. It wasn't James who killed Herman. But who was it then? Who's got a black Morris? Alright. So Morris is Just double check that I can't click on anything else. Click on all of these, that's always reassuring, isn't it? Let's go back to Willow Creek. Good afternoon, Harry. More like evening, I'd say. Have you seen the weather outside? It's unnaturally dark. Yes, it's very strange. More than that, weather like this brings nothing good. I'm a bit superstitious, you see. Yes, I've noticed. But enough about the weather. Here in the pub, we're always comfortable. Will you have anything, Mr. Samuel? Well, yeah, I point. don't think so. Oh. I I've just come to ask about things. I thought so. No offense intended, but you're not exactly my best customer. <laughs> the pub is deserted. Where is everyone, Harry? Everyone's probably staying at home. The weather is ghastly today. In fact, I'm not even surprised. Oh, good. I'm glad that we came here to talk to him and not. Actually, we have said good. Right, so that's pointless. Right, let's get out of there. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out why I'm here because it, it normally doesn't let you click on anything unless you actually go in there for a reason. So where's that pier? He's not there. Okay. It's Willow Creek, Herman's house. Warm Hill Vicarage, let's go there. I can't see why I'm going to the Vicarage to be honest. 
I don't think I can get, no, I can't get in, can I? Let me a cemetery. One of the crypts of our. Oh, yeah, I know that. Right, let's go back to the only place I know best. Let's go and find Morris. The rain's gone completely quiet, or is it just my ears? I mean, I can even walk around, but I can't hear anything. You know, like the thunder and the lightning. And the... Oh, there we go. See the stable because this is where Morris is in town here. Right, here we go. Morris isn't here. Where could he have gone? Chopper now is Morris then. Hang on, bro. Have a bit of a scan around. I'm sure there's nothing in there that I've missed. Oh, there we go. A letter. Cool. Strange things have been happening around here. It all began a few days after the funeral of old Mr. Gordon, when his Mr. heir Samuel Gordon. returned to when the manor. When his heir Samuel returned to the manor. I haven't got a clue as to what's going on, but when somebody finds this note, I'll be far away already. It seems to me that that detective wants to frame me for Henry's murder, so I won't be hanging around. I'm going to go while there's still time. Feel free to keep my last month's wage, and don't bother looking for me. I won't be returning. Morris. Mm. Morris has run away. I knew he couldn't be trusted. What if it was he who committed the murders? Well, I do agree with what you're saying there, Morris, because he has been dicking about a bit, hasn't he? Oh, hello. Morris's cap. Cool. Oh, yeah, well, has he got any hair in there? I found a little hair. I should examine it closely. Maybe this sample will match the one Herman was clasping in his hand. Hair from Morris's cap. Its color matches that of the hair Herman was clasping in his hand when I found him. Let's just see if I can go back to Herman's house. Hair 
from Morris's cap. It's colour. Well, no. Damn. This isn't the murderer I'm looking for either. But if it isn't him, then who? Is it you, Samuel? You know? I think I'm going to go back to the, the castle and I'm going to stop because it's getting late. Actually, let's go and speak to some people. I'm going to speak to Bates. I'll find out where he is anyway. He wandered off last time I saw him. Let's see if he's back in the kitchen again. And there he is, he's making my dinner still. Let's ask him now. Bates? Yes, sir? Bates, I have just returned from Ashbury. I spoke with the head nurse, and... Any news of Sir Robert? Well, unfortunately... From your tone, I anticipate bad news? It's... It's worse, Bates. Much worse. Robert is dead. What? Sir Robert? That's inconceivable. Oh my, I sensed something terrible would happen. All this time since Sir Robert disappeared, this is going to be a tremendous shock for Madam. Maybe it would be preferable not to let her know. Good call. At least for the time being. But how could we possibly not tell her about this? We just don't tell her. Bates, we cannot tell her now. Try to understand. We need to give this some time. But Madam will continue to look for Sir Robert. She will find out the truth by herself soon anyway. And things will be worse for her. Believe me, Bates. The later she learns about Robert's death, the better. I'm oh, sure. You are probably right, sir. We have to give Madam more time. The news would destroy her right now. Would you excuse me now, sir? I need to organize my thoughts. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. It's going to peel the, uh, the onions, and of course that's when the crying comes out. Right, good, so I'm going to pause it there. Cool, I shall come back to it later. <clears throat>